Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over another IB Biology Extended Response. And in this time, we're going to be going over a topic 8 question. In hot, dry conditions, plants lose water rapidly due to transpiration. Explain how the structures and processes of the plants allow this water to be replaced. This is 8 marks. Let's get cracking. With this type of question, the way I try to remember it is that there are three components to transpiration. So there's the roots, where the water comes in, xylem, which connects um, the roots to the leaves. Leaves are number three. So instead of going one, two, three, we're actually talking about it from a three, two, one perspective. So we're starting from the leaves, then the xylem, then to the roots. So here we've said evaporation of the leaves of plants causes negative pressure. Negative pressure means that water from the xylem moves into the plant. And we've got to mention that xylem connects the roots and the leaves for water transport. And also, just uh, for mentioning what xylem is, you could say xylem has um, a lignified, lignified walls to create tension. There's one of those, um, probably a one mark there for mentioning what xylem is because xylem is essential for this transpiration process. Next, we have to talk about the roots, how roots absorb minerals for active tra transport, and this causes the environment to be hypertonic. So the root environment to be hypertonic, and as we know, osmosis occurs towards hypertonic environments. So we have osmosis into the root. This is how water comes into the root. Now we have to talk about the next part, which is structures and processes that allow this water to be replaced. So we sort of talked about the process, which is um, this movement right here. And now let's talk about some structures and adaptation. First, a quick and easy adaptation is that extensive root system increases surface area, which increases water uptake. Next, you can talk about fewer leaves in plants reduces water loss through transpiration. That's also um, a really obvious one. And these are generally adaptations of zero height. And you can think of cactuses as well. And also, champ physiology enables stomata to open at night, reducing um, transpiration. Also, on the underside of leaves around the um, around the stomata are these things called trichomes, which are hair-like structures, structures, and trichomes capture uh, water lost through transpiration and minimizes water loss. As a last statement, I would also say that a thick cuticle also reduces water loss from stomata. Now, let's check the mark scheme and see how we went. Okay, so we can see that we hit A, B, so that's 2, E, F, G, that's 5, H as well, and a couple of these, so we're definitely hitting the 8 marks. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you guys in a future video.